Now, protesters in the country remain camped outside the government house, calling for Prime Minister Ying Lakshinawat to step down. And in an attempt to pacify the protesters, Ying Lak dissolved the parliament and called new elections. However, the situation appears to be still in a deadlock. Our correspondent Tony Chung had the opportunity to sit down with the prime minister to discuss the ongoing political stalemate. It's, I think, well accepted that your party uh, will probably win an election in February with a, probably a very large majority as you did two years ago. But the fact remains is there's still a very large section of Thai society which is unhappy with your leadership, which is unhappy with your family and your party. How can you possibly work with those people, particularly given that they are in positions of power in the establishment? The next election, I don't know that whoever will win, I can't tell. The chance might go to Democrat if people support and if the protesters support. So that's why we return the power by this soap. And then I think when the next election, that will be, uh, uh, will be uh, will be the decision making of the majority of the people. That's followed by the, the de democratic process. But we are locked in something of a cycle of political deadlock. Right. Uh, your government comes into power, we see protesters out on the streets, your government is deposed, then we see the other side coming out but on the streets. We've seen this cycle repeated seven times now. But I think, yes, we understand the, the cycle. So you have to have the principle that you have to accept or recognize the voice of the people. So that's why we need the right process. But I think oh, one thing that, um, of course, that whoever is going to win election, they will bring the topic of the reform of the countries. You do keep winning elections. Your brother kept winning elections and yet you are not allowed to stay in power. We've seen massive protests. They're well funded, they're well organized. They have a symbolic leader in Mr. Sutep. But who do you think is really behind this? Who really wants your family to step down from power? I don't know. I can't tell. I think that's why I, I don't know. I just know that we have to fight any mechanism that to, uh, people respect of the majority of the decision of the people. So that's why uh, we call for election. But I don't know any other mechanism that can help. And I don't know uh, uh, who support Kun uh, but I know the only thing that, only one thing that we know by the word of the people.